Hey guys, it's Raimi and welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be on this look. I really wanted to do something really girly and sparkly. So this is what I came up with. And if you want to see how I did it, then just keep watching. So for eyeshadow primer, I'm just going to use Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Fair. And I'm going to put that all over my eyelid and use it to carve out my brows. And I'm also making sure to get it in my inner corner to help brighten up that area. Using the Modern Renaissance palette, I'm going to take Tempra and use that color since it's the lightest shade to set my concealer. So now I'm going to take Burnt Orange on a blending brush and we're just going to put that on the crease and inner and outer corner. We're going to do this with all the shades except we're going to put each one slightly lower than the one before it. And we're just going to avoid the middle part because we're just going to put glitter on it anyway. So now taking Venetian Red on a different blending brush, we're just going to put that slightly lower in all the same places. And I'm just going to place the color and then blend it out. And I cannot stress enough how important it is to use different brushes with, with each color. Because otherwise it will just look really muddy and that's the key to getting a gradient effect. So the last color we're going to use is Love Letter and I honestly love it so much. I love this whole entire palette. It's so pigmented. And we're just going to do the same thing and blend it out. Also, I'm using a smaller blending brush in this area because the lower you go, the less space you'll have. So it's a lot easier to do with a smaller brush. So now before glitter, I'm just going to take a big fluffy blending brush and just blend everything a little more to make it more seamless. Now on a small shader brush from Real Techniques, I'm just going to take Vermeer and put that on my inner corner and what's that called? I'm always forgetting what things are called. Your brow bone. There we go. Your brow bone. So now I'm going to take this eyeshadow called Kemet. Commit. I don't know, but it's really pretty and it's from Juvia's Place. And yeah, I'm going to put that on the inner corners just to be a little extra. Now I'm going to take the NYX glitter glue on the back of my hand. And I'm going to use a really precise, like very flat um elf brush and i'm just going to use that to create a little like dome half circle kind of thing on my lid and we're watch me be dysfunctional trying to do this <laughs> i have to get in the weirdest position to get it how i want it but you know it it worked for me don't judge or judge i don't care but yeah the nyx glitter glue is a really good dupe in my opinion for the Too faced one it's a lot cheaper like a lot cheaper and it does the same thing so i definitely recommend if you're on a budget or if you just don't want to spend that much money but yeah this takes a lot of time and patience well not like a lot a lot of time but definitely need to be patient and take your time with it so you can get your glitter exactly where you want it to go so now i'm going to take this nyx glitter in silver and on the same brush i'm just going to take it and pat it on wherever i put the glitter glue and you want to make sure to pat it and not like wipe it because this is how you'll get the most pigment and you'll just get it to stay better and get less fallout. So just to clean up the edges and make it really precise, I'm going to take my glitter eyeliner from Urban Decay and I'm just going to perfect the smaller areas that I couldn't get. And if you don't have this, you can just use the glitter and get like an extra small detailer brush just to fill it in. For mascara today, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And that's the only one I'm going to use today, surprisingly, because I usually use like three. <laughs> For primer today, I'm going to use Benefits Professional, and I'm just going to pat that onto my skin. For foundation today, I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way in light beige, and I'm just going to blend that out with my Black Beauty Blender. For concealer today, I'm going to use the Born This Way Concealer as well, and I'm just going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender. And enjoy the really cute faces that I make while I do that. <laughs> so recently to set my face, I've been using the Airspun Powder on a damp beauty blender. Well, this is a Real Techniques one. And honestly, it makes your foundation look so flawless. I love doing this now. So to bronze my face, I'm just using Benefit's Hula Bronzer. And for blush, I'm going to use Makeup Geek Summer Fling. Now using the lightest highlight shade from the Carly by Belle palette, I'm going to highlight my cheekbones, nose, and cupid's bow. As always, I'm just exfoliating my lips with a lip scrub. And for lipstick today, I'm just going to use ColourPop's Echo Park. And if you've been watching me, I'm sure you're not surprised. I'm using the Urban Decay D-Slick Setting Spray. And don't forget to shake it before you use it. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this and leave a comment down below. And check out the description box for my social media so you can keep up with me. My dog keeps trying to eat my makeup. This is Sadie and she's really needy. That's why she's on my lap. But yeah, and at the end of the day, I'm going to leave my thoughts on this foundation on in the description box because I have really oily skin. It's the first time I tried the Born This Way foundation. So I'll let you guys know how it worked out for me. Bye.